So let's look how to create a new form and then add some questions to that form. Here's a form that I've already created. This is an example of a form with some text fields and multiple choice and checkmark questions. Really the whole gamut of information is here with different kinds of questions and we'll recreate something similar to this in a few moments. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Drive account. So I'm going to go to drive.google.com and log in. And then over here on the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and hit the create button. And you'll notice that one of my Google Docs, Google Drive applications that I have access to is Google Forms. Go ahead and select that. It will start an uh, untitled form. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a title. Choose a theme. And you'll notice that when I'm logged into my Google Apps at Blake application, but the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to ask me uh, if I want to require the user to fill out, uh, to collect their Blake School um, uh, username, or if I'm going to require the Blake School login to view this form. This is really important that when you first create a form, you need to think of your audience in mind and if you need this information. I'm going to unselect this because I expect that um, I will have families and uh, first graders and and other folks that don't have access to a Blake School uh, Google Apps account. So it will prompt me with a message about not requiring uh, sign-in and making it accessible outside the domain. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start filling out uh, all the uh, various information. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that I have a uh, form title that would uh, make good sense, uh, a description. And then you'll notice that the first thing that it'll do is it will pop up with a uh, untitled question, a multiple choice question as a sample item. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start changing the uh, question type. And I wanna collect things like first name, and I need to change the question type so that it's a text. And I want to make sure that they fill out this uh, question. So I'm going to require this uh, question to be completed. And then I can go ahead and add the next item, another text field to collect their last name. And again, require this question. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a uh, paragraph text. Around comments. I'm not going to require this. These are just comments that they might want to optionally leave. Add a multiple choice question. And I'm going to require this question. You can see I can also add another uh, uh, option here in case uh, the multiple choice uh, options aren't relevant enough. They could add another, maybe an entree that uh, they would prefer to have. And checkbox question. And I'm going to require this. I'm going to choose from a list question. And require this question. I'm going to add a scale question. And require this question. I'm going to add a grid question. The question has a series of rows and columns that uh, are trying to ascertain uh, some sort of distribution of answers and require this question. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a section header. And that just means this will break up my form. And I could add a page, although um, in order to take the form to another page, but I'm going to go ahead and, and not do that today. Uh, and then I can rearrange my form accordingly. So uh, you remember I had my comments question earlier. You'll notice that when I hover over it, it turns uh, slightly gray. And I get those little four directional arrows. When I pull those down, it will show me where it's going to place the form. And you can see right now that uh, it's placing it right under the section.
And then finally, I could go ahead and um, personalize my confirmation me message. And I have some choices in terms of allowing um, just a, another response uh, right from the form, uh, publishing the responses and linking that uh, to the form, or allowing the responders or users to edit the form. I'm not going to uh, choose any of those today. And once I'm done, I can see what my form looks like by clicking on View Live Form. And you can see all of my question types um, are located. And if I was unhappy with any of them, I could go ahead and change this accordingly by selecting Edit This Form.